going to tell you guys that if you're playing on anything, Fortnite, whether it be on console, PC, iOS, anything, Switch, whatever, that counts as console, good for you. I support everyone playing Fortnite. Whatever you can play Fortnite on, that's what I think you should play, be playing Fortnite on. But today I saw Cypher's tweet, which said like 42 out of the 50 solo showdown people were on console, and I read the comments. It was a bunch of people like, yeah, see, PC people are bots, this and that. And uh, I'm going to go into why I think there are a lot more bots on console. I'm just going to state some facts, state some logic, stuff like that, just so you guys can think about it. I mean, it is mostly my opinion, but I'm sure there's some truth to it. Alright guys, so first off, I'm just going to go over a few things that makes PC better. Nothing against console. Again, if you play on console, good for you, whatever. So on PC, you obviously have the mouse and keyboard, which is a lot better for moving, aiming. There's aim assist on console, which just shows how like a mouse and keyboard is a lot better to aim because they had to make aim assist. Okay. Then there's the FPS. Obviously, there's a lot better FPS on PC, which makes the game run a lot more smooth. It's like how native how the game should be, should be ran, and how the developers created it, right? And then there goes into editing. There's no editing delay on PC, and there isn't. There isn't console. And then one of the main things I feel like a lot of people do not know about is if you're shooting someone with an assault rifle, this is an example. If you're shooting someone with an assault rifle and they push you, you have to go directly. You have to press B or O, Xbox, PS4, and uh, start building up to them, right, to take the build fight, right, which, okay, taking a build fight, right? But then you get a fr say you get the high ground, you get a split second chance to shoot someone with your shotgun. Now you have to press B or O to cancel your building, and then you go back to the assault rifle. You go back to the last weapon you were using, and then you have to switch to your shotgun. So you have to press a cancel button on your on your building. And on PC, I play. I don't have a cancel button for it. I click the direct route to the gun. So if my shotgun's in the three spot, I click the three spot, go directly to the gun. Does not matter what gun I was using it before, and that saves me a click. All right. Yes, you could go into the fight with your shotgun out, but that's not always going to be the case. In like some situations, you're not going to be able to because you have to be to build to defend yourself right away. So that saves you a click. That gives you more time. That makes it a lot easier. But this video is why I think there's a lot more bots on console. And here's why I think there's a lot more bots, alright? One, obviously there's just a lot more console players. Cause, yeah. And uh, more, more players equals there's probably going to be more bots, right? But the reason I think there's more bots is because if you're going to buy a PC, a good PC, to game, run Fortnite well, 800 bucks. 800 bucks would be a a gamer on PC, right? If you're going to drop $800 on a PC, you're going to be a gamer. No one drops $800 just to drop $800 unless you're filthy rich. And if you're going to be a gamer, that means you're going to try hard, put a lot of time into it, and that's how you get good at a game. So that means, therefore, there's more good players. But I know plenty of families with little kids, whatever, that will just buy a console just to have a console, hook it up to a 40-inch 40, 40 TV, which is not ideal for gaming. Trust me, it's not ideal for gaming. I play on a 24-inch monitor, 144 hertz, hertz monitor, which is really good for gaming on PC. You can also get that on console, but definitely don't get above a 60 hertz monitor on console because... It can't go above 60 FPS, so it doesn't matter. And then there's a ton of kids without like headsets that just plug in a plug in a console just to casually game on Fortnite for a little while. So that means there's a lot more people who aren't committed to the game. So that means there's more people who aren't going to be good. Because if you're on console, I have an Xbox sitting right here. Yes, I can just turn it on, play Fortnite twice in the week, maybe get a win, maybe not, be happy, be not very good at the game and that happens so much but if you're on PC you're gonna be committed to it most of the time obviously there are exceptions there are exceptions to both things but if you're you're usually there's a really strong chance that someone's gonna drop two hundred dollars for a console rather than eight hundred dollars for a PC if they're a casual gamer right and Fortnite's all about the casual gamers and so that's why there's a lot more easy players to kill on console than there is on PC because you don't have as many committed players okay and guys so pretty much that's my reason why I think that there are more bots on console than on PC because I hear a lot of people a lot of console players who are like mad and stuff saying there's a lot more people 
a lot more bots on PC, and obviously there's going to be bots on everything, but that's why I think, and it's pretty logical to think, because you can just go take $200, I got my Xbox for $200, you can go take $200 to store, buy an Xbox, plug it into any TV in your house, do a Wi-Fi connection, and bam, you're good, you can play Fortnite, it's free, and there you go, but on the PC, you got to spend all the money, so that's why there's a lot more bots on console than there is on PC. I'm not trying to make anyone salty. I know I'm going to get hate comments. I'm just putting that out there. That's my opinion. You can hate on me. Just put it in the comments. Alright guys, if you like this video, if you like me, if you watch this video, make sure to hit that sub button. Hit notifications. If you are new, sub notifications on. If you're not new but you're sub without notifications on, make sure that notifications on. Tune into my streams. Come support me. Let me know what you thought about this video in the comments. I don't do a lot of videos like this. I usually just post the gameplays. But I felt I wanted to address this and tell you guys what I thought. It's just an opinion. All right, guys. Everyone have a fantastic day, fantastic night. Whenever you're watching this video, just have a good life. Thanks, guys.